rocks. Grand rise, grand rise. <laughs> My beard's starting to get grazed in it. <clears throat> Yo, so, you know, every day, well, lately, the last few days, I've been trying to build with y'all about the particular vibrations and what that means for your meditation, right? Well, yesterday I was touching in on um, the value of, it might have been yesterday or the day before yesterday, but I was tapping into the value of um, you experiencing or having experiences with certain energies that you want in your life, like having that, that manifestation or that familiarity with it, like being familiar with the energies that exist. So therefore, it's easy to pull them back into your life because that's that's that life force energy that was for you at one point. <clears throat> well, did you ever wonder why? Did you ever wonder why there's so many TV shows and there's so many energies that exist and they always want you to feel worse? Like they want you to feel bad about something. They want you to they they give off this 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 energy of sorrow or sadness or mistake abilities or happenings they give off this type of energy so therefore you start getting used to having that familiarity with that energy in your life right you start getting used to it so the more used to it you get the more it's familiar to your manifestation right so while you're manifesting and trying to bring in good things in all actuality, the only memory you have for that karmatic that karmatic transfer of alchemy is the negative energy. So when you walk around and you're carrying all these negative stories, these negative events, you can reach back in the past and ultimately say, oh, I this, I this, I that. You are holding on to certain things that you're just going to drag into your next trimester of energies that's to support you through whatever life expectancy you're dealing with. My whole life, people would get in my way and do different things. And I would never hold on to those negative things. Like, I, it's only been, I can say maybe two or three times I've been hurt, hurt, really hurt in my life. Like, heart just broken to pieces, you know what I'm saying? And there's been more times that I've been happy and majority of the time that's by myself and things that I can accomplish by myself. So when I get into my own energy, it's easy for me to manifest powerful things to take place when I'm by myself. Cause I'm used to that. I'm used to being by myself and succeeding. You know what I'm saying? So I always wanted to do that with an individual, be able to take the things that I'm capable of thinking, actually be in a comfortable enough situation to pull those things out of my head and share them with somebody and then watch them grow off particular energies that I may have that will allow them to do certain things for themselves. And then we bond or combine those energies, you know what I'm saying, as two complete people of accomplishing things, you know what I mean? Because accomplishment is powerful. Like some people don't, they, they don't do accomplishments enough to where they start harnessing or being able to look at the energy itself in accomplishment to want to use that as a particular source of energy. So I even tried to like in different of my relationships, I even tried to create that energy for a person just so I can explain it to them later. You know what I'm saying? Be like, yo, you remember how you felt? When such and such was going on and, you know, I came in, da, 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 you was like, I want you to remember that feeling because we're going to use that. Like, I would try <laughs> to build, but it's hard when people don't have what I like to say a menu. You know what I'm saying? You don't have that menu inside of you that's going to help you get that understanding of what you need to look on your menu and see what you want to access to try to manifest. You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't even know how to pick that off the wall, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> of your life and say, yo, I can use that energy right there. Instead, if you notice most of the times where people get in relationships or 
you go to a certain job or you're around certain people in your neighborhood, what's the first thing they do? They talk about the negative parts. Oh, don't do this because this, that, and the third. Or, or girl, this, that, and the third happen all the time. And da, 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 you know what I'm saying? Or I remember I had, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, it's always these stories and those stories don't do shit for you. Even when you at your job, they be like, yo, watch out for so-and-so. Watch out for dude because dude, he'll do this and he did that. And da, 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 da. Next thing you know, you got it in your mind. You know what I'm saying? You are recreating the value of those circumstances. And, the feeling what that may make you feel like. So we got to be mindful of even entertaining the thoughts. This is why old heads were so silent. This is why our great grandparents were so silent because they didn't, they, they seen what was going on and they looked at it with a state of mind. And that's not me. That ain't got shit. That shit ain't got nothing to do with me. And, and despite we knew it or not, it built division within our people, but it kept some of our people strong. You know what I'm saying? Because it ultimately shows some of our people running in the wrong direction as far as the things they would inhabit in their life or bring into their life. And then that energy would scar their perception or their memory of manifestation. So you would know that by constant repetition, they were going to keep living that way. This is what sometimes you get females who like to be beat by men, you know what I'm saying? Or you get situations where a man in the street, he just can't get out the fucking street. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just won't get out the street. He's addicted to being around people in the street and doing whatever the street has to offer. Or people who are addicted to drugs in that sense, or alcohol, or whatever have you. Like, they just won't stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that is a particular energy that is, like I was talking yesterday about the images that you see is burned in your head. So you may see yourself in these different lights so many ways. The weight is heavy. And you haven't had the particular light, which is the sunlight. You haven't used it enough in your life to wash away other images. This is why you sit down and you meditate too. It's to clear your mind of thoughts that don't serve you. This is what they mean by they don't serve you. There are all these negative things you've been through in life. You're supposed to sit in the sun and let them all go. You're supposed to let them burn away in the sun. So the sunlight is so bright with it hitting your face and your memory. It can, it can shine through those memories while you're thinking them while you're in meditation this is why the point is to stay still so all that shit comes to the surface so when it comes to the surface and the sun is beating down on your face the sun can literally wash away the light frequency it can wash away the light frequency of images of history's past that holds electrical energy and electrical energy has what information information for you to re-manifest things from and to <sighs> okay so with that understanding, that is the main purpose for meditation. Like we thinking that we're going to reach this high plane. Well, the plane is you. And the problem is you, has, you haven't reached its greatest ability because it's cluttered. That's why they talk about cluttering your mind, cluttering your house and stuff of that nature. You got to unclutter the, the life expectancy that you live. You have to put that shit down. You have to put it down. I don't give a fuck what happened or how you've been doing shit your whole fucking life. That shit will never fucking serve you. Never. You have to evolve within your ways. You have to be able to look at your own actions and subsequently say, if I if I did it this, like, all right, time delegates, time delegates agenda. So the more time you're spending with yourself, the more time you are um, aware of your own personal actions and how you respond to certain things. And as you get older and you go through this, this train of information, it starts to allow you to see the way you would have made that decision before opposed to how you feel about making that decision today. And when you do this in the light, it lets you see your dark thoughts. You see what I'm saying? So now you can wash away the thoughts that you might have held on to because you're used to doing that pattern. You can wash away those thoughts with the sunlight. You know what I mean? And allow yourself to replace them with a blank slate. So therefore, when you get the opportunity to live these energies different, you place them in a different energy of, me of remembrance. So therefore, now if you ever want to bring that back into your life, because every energy is fleeting. It goes through the reflector, which is us. We absorb the, the light and we shine it out through the way we see it. So this is why it's important to keep your emotions and, 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 and the value of how you think you see certain things away from the actual understanding of how that could play out. We are in control of the destinies. We are in control of the actions. You are in control of the manifestations. First of all, know that and know yourself. So while you knowing yourself with the divine light, you can clear out anything in your life and make it better. This is why I say always be true to you. 
always be true to you. You know what I'm saying? So cre- uh, recreating a negative aspect of things is the detriment. It's the reason why we can't get to what we we trying to do because we keep re- we 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 keep recreating the value of loss or failure or pain. And while you recreate those values, this is what you have to look for in your future. It's all in the mind. If you have a strong mind, you should be strong enough to change your mind to the to the present value. You know what I'm saying? And be mindful of people who just don't want to do that. You already know the vibes. I ain't going to hold you. It's not. Matter of fact, I'll be back in a little bit.